One of the most beautiful things about music, I think, is feeling free. From the other side, one of the most frustrating things about music is when you're not feeling free. What I want to talk about today is exactly that. Let me loop it. Two chords. C major. I just love this voicing a lot. <laughs> so, for me, um, for a long time, I really thought and believed that I need to play a lot of scales. And that basically, if I know my C major scale, if I, I can really hear it in a clear way, I can do everything. Which is not not true, but it's not the whole truth. And that was something that kind of held me back. And I basically um, was looking for ways to unlock the fingerboard because I wasn't free. And like I was saying, it's not a great feeling when you're not feeling free. So I discovered, um, I knew about this concept, arpeggios, triads, but I really started diving in. Check this out. So we're playing two chords, actually it's one chord, C major seven, and then C major seven, first inversion. So basically, basically the same chord, right? So, I can play the triad. Which sounds beautiful. It also describes the chord. So an arpeggio is basically the actual note within the triad. So if this is C, this is C, good old fashioned C major, the notes are C, E, and G. So it would sound like this. Do, mi, so. And you can try and sing it, try and feel, feel the notes in relation to the chord. Now I'm not saying don't play scales, it's gonna sound nice, but I'm gonna accent and be aware of the chord tones. So level one here is just being aware of the geographical points on the fingerboard. The first position that I want you guys to check out is this one. Slow. And you can think about letters, right? C, E, G, it's all fine, whatever you want, as long as you're tagging it and listening. Cool. This is all fine and dandy, but for me, one of the things that I was very impressed and also why I love piano so much is all these kind of big skips. So... These kind of ideas that are very directional uh, really triggers me. So I started working on three octave tries, which is level two here. So check this out slowly. It's the same fingering. Again here. Then in time, maybe a little faster. Now there needs to be a balance between framework, technical things, and music. But I think right now we need some birds. <laughs> All right, so check this out. I'm gonna just take C major scale and the three octaves triad and saw a little bit of this and the birds. Okay, I'm gonna let the birds go. What is interesting here for me, right, even if you saw me play here, I just took a part of the three octave triad, but because I know it, it doesn't mean that I always need to play three octaves. It's kind of like seeing the framework in a, in a slightly different way. Cool, we're grooving, but the chord, the first chord here, C major seven nine, so I had this little G here. This is the finger that I'm using, fourth finger, and then the first finger, just barring it. 
The second chord that I was playing is this one, C major 9 first inversion. So, you know, there is a lot of lushness in that and for me one of the places to go to is basically the major 7. So when you're playing a chord like the C, great, but okay let's add the major 7. Even more lush. So the same way, I'm gonna take the position from level one, this one here, and add the seven. So it will sound like this, and it will look like this. Sorry, it's a little early in the morning here. Already sounds nice, but now. Let's solo with a major seven in mind. So again, thinking about these geographical points as important anchor points, but still using the framework of C major and being free with it. Let's try. They're arpeggio, right? Maybe three octaves. And he that's major seven. So again, you see how framework comes into, into practice, right? It's like I'm learning this new shape that I'm not comfortable with. I'm practicing it in time, I'm trying to sing it, I'm trying to kind of like get it into the, my system, and then I'm trying to make music with it. I think that's super crucial. Cool. Let's listen one more time. So, in the same place of motion, I do like using the two notes per string uh, arpeggio. So basically, I'm taking the triad that we worked on, the three octaves, but now I'm playing it out of time. Just the shape, see it? Now, the same thing, we understand the framework, we're gonna practice it a little bit more. Doubles. Technical idea, and I'm gonna solo using that element. Seven. Okay, which brings me to another thing. So in this level here, we're gonna add just a rhythmic thing, triplets. So I'm gonna take the same uh, major seven arpeggio that we just did, but with triplets. So it will sound like this. This is just, again, the framework, this is the idea, the concept. Now I'm gonna solo on this one chord vibe. I'm gonna bring back the birds, I think we need birds. And I'm gonna use that triplet idea. I think for me, these things are simple, but the concept of like practicing an idea, trying to assimilate it, and then making music with it is super crucial. There are two more levels that I want to share with you guys. So the same way that we said, okay, we have the triads, kind of like almost those anchor points in the in the on the guitar. 
I can play chromatic note to those triads. So check this out. I'm gonna take the first level, the C major. So. So here, like you see, I'm basically playing half step below the chord tone, just having this like triad, the arpeggio as this, you know, very important element that I'm leading toward. Check it out as a solo, just with that. Okay, if you guys need the PDF for this, also exists on the Patreon, no problem. The last thing that I want to do is you guys solo with me. So we're just going to vamp on this for a second, hang out, and I'm going to try and use all these ideas from the framework of the triads, the major seven, the three octaves, the three octaves with the major seven, and the chromatic. Let's jam. Also try and add more chromatics. Sound them might be harsh, but it's really cool. Thank you so much for listening. I hope this was interesting and helpful. I think for me, again, like working on the framework and balancing between the idea of making music and practice. And I think that's a huge, huge thing. I'll see you guys very soon. Keep on playing.